everyone, it's Suzanne Benker taking your questions once a week at askthefeministfixer at gmail.com. And this week's um, question is from Rachel, and she said, I read almost everything you write, thank you, and agree wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, my boyfriend of two years wants me to continue working when we have kids, and I don't agree. What should I do? So this is an actually, this is an issue that's extremely common today and it shows you really how far down the rabbit hole we've gone since feminism did its damage, quite frankly, because it was unheard of for any husband to um, encourage his wife to work outside the home and uh, find alternative means of uh, raising their children uh, in the past. That just wasn't, that was not, if anything, they didn't want their wives to work because it, you know, showed poorly on them. So my how a few decades has changed things. And it's really um, sad because men are very, you know, I think in a lot of ways, they've just been very quiet and sort of watching this whole um, revolution, if you will, transpire and a lot of them really just go along with it because they you know they want to make women happy and if women say this is how they're going to be happy then they jump on board without really thinking through all the ramifications but if you if you get with someone whose value system when it comes to work and family does not match yours you absolutely should not be marrying that person i mean there's no question that that has to be um, discussed and decided upon prior to saying I do. In fact, that's one, there's a whole chapter on that in, in my new book this year that says, that explains how people are not having these conversations prior. It sounds like this person is. So this conversation alone, the fact that, you know, unless he's malleable in this way, um, and can come around to your viewpoint on it, um, then he's not your guy. You know, because this is too, too vital of an issue to mess with. So if you're not on the same board, it's not going to go over well. In fact, in the book, in this chapter that I'm talking about, I actually explain what happened with my husband and me, how that was when we met on the table right away. And it's made all the difference in the world. Like, I just can't believe people don't have this conversation and get this down um, prior to having a family. But if it does come up and you're not on the same page, then that's a deal breaker. That's an absolute deal breaker. Um, it will not work out well because those are two completely different priorities and value systems that will um, clash and you have got to be on the same page in that regard. So um, I'm sorry that it's that way today and that we have so many men who've been um, brainwashed as, bad, as badly as women about um, the idea that, that mothers should have children and and leave them in the care of others while they go to work full time. It's really it's it's very unfortunate. But anyway, that would be my advice for you is um, run. <laughs>